various schools of thought. Pretended worship. It is just like the time when Christ descended to earth. People's thoughts are just as confused, they advocate the same misguided teachings, they believe to possess the sole truth and yet they are living right in the midst of falsehood. Now, as then, they uphold their hollow creeds even though all vary from each other, each creed endorses its own point of view and each one is convinced that it can lay claim to the truthfulness of its teachings. And the number of schools of thought has grown considerably, there are not just a few opposing each other but a great variety of opinions has created a great variety of faith communities which all endeavor to win supporters and fanatically insist on the doctrines they endorse. Hence it is essential that people receive the truth, that they at last learn what God expects from people. It is essential that God's will is revealed to them so that they learn to recognize that the fulfillment of his will is the meaning and purpose of life on earth. However, every church or spiritual movement teaches that it proclaims God's will and still the various creeds differ. At the time of Christ's descent to earth people prided themselves just like today on practicing various customs, the divine service was fanatically performed and lacked spirit so that people did not establish any heartfelt contact with their God and Creator. And the same happens nowadays, a formal religious service giving due consideration to all rites and customs, demonstrating to the world the union with God whilst the heart of the individual is far removed from this heartfelt bond with him. It is just pretense and deception, there is no longer any truthfulness in people's way of life. They solely belong to the physical world, and even if they want to give the impression of a relationship with God they only perform lifeless formalities which do not touch their souls. And you, who received the truth from God, shall challenge this pretense of worship and remember that even Jesus during his life on earth did not support those who upheld wrong doctrines and tried to justify their pretense of worship as the only one pleasing to God and who condemned everything that contradicted their teachings. Nowadays people will not want to part with the doctrines handed down to them by people either and will therefore always remain in error, because they refuse to accept the pure truth which can only be granted to them from above, from the eternal truth. Yet such a gift of grace requires free voluntary acceptance. The truth cannot be forcibly conveyed to people who are unwilling to accept it. And therefore it is difficult to root out misguided teachings even if these are substantiated and amended to them as being wrong. There will only ever be a few who will be open-minded to what God himself conveys to people, because they don't want to acknowledge such evident working of God. Because they have no knowledge of the fact that God pours out his spirit over those who willingly open up their hearts to him for the receipt of his pure truth. Prior to Jesus' descent to earth, before his crucifixion, the pouring out of the spirit upon a human being was not possible and therefore the world was full of error. However, after his death on the cross truth could find access to mankind and it became possible to fully enlighten people as to whether and when their thinking was erroneous, it was possible to instruct them through the spirit and they could rid themselves of all error. Yet there was never any coercion and this is why time and again error could creep in and be advocated as truth and passed on with such tenacity that it is difficult to convince people of their own thinking, and thus they will always resist accepting the pure truth from God and giving up their misconceptions. And still, for the sake of truth itself everything has to be tried to make people change their points of view. Everything has to be tried to motivate them to think, everything has to be done to impart the pure truth to them, for they can only reach the final goal on the path of truth. 
as long as they remain in their wrong thinking they will not be able to partake in the bliss of the kingdom of the beyond, which can only ever guarantee enlightenment. Only truth grants light, therefore truth alone leads to beatitude, for countless beings can be made happy with it again and happiness in the spiritual kingdom consists of the giving of light. This is why you humans must not fall victim to wrong thinking, this is why the truth is offered to you time and again, this is why everything will be done on the part of God to turn your thinking in the right direction, yet you yourselves need only have the will to live in truth. For it is not as important on earth as it is in the kingdom of the beyond that you know the truth, because you cannot be happy there without truth, and even if you ignore your dark state on earth, it will nevertheless torment you in the beyond, because only light is beatitude and light is only ever emanated by the truth, by God himself, who is the eternal essence of light. Amen.